Three hours last night. I did not tell you I would be there. Your eyes said you would. Ah, but my lips did not. To me, they did. You're sweet, but dangerous, Mr. Simpson. Good. Then I'm making progress. And incidentally, Yvonne, let's stop being so formal. The name is Bob. When I stop being formal, then it will be dangerous for you. I'll give you five minutes. For what? I have another drink. I think you have company, Mr. Simpson. I thought I'd find you in here. Do you realize we're supposed to take off in 20 minutes? Easy, son, easy. Have a drink. We haven't got time. What do you mean we haven't got time? We've got all the time in the world. Take a look at that. The will of Peter Vanderhorn, multimillionaire diamond tycoon, was probated yesterday. It provided for a reward of 5,000 pounds sterling for the discovery of his daughter Greta dead or alive. She was returning home by plane from an American finishing school the first day of World War II. The last communication from the navigator placed the plane somewhere over the Zambezi territory. No word of the plane or any of the passengers has ever been received. Well, so what? Our business is flying private passengers. And I don't want to remind you some, but two of them are waiting for us right now. So what? Right now, we're out of business. What the devil are you talking about? Look, Mike, sit down. There's 5,000 pounds reward there, which is about $20,000 for anyone who finds Greta Vanderhorn and she doesn't have to be alive. You are wacky. That plane was lost six years ago. What's been lost can be found. If that were so, the plane would have been found a long time ago. But they weren't able to send out search planes while the war was on. Now that restrictions have been lifted, every broken down flyer on the African coast will be taking off to look for the wreckage of that plane. And we're gonna get there first. Who said anything about getting there at all? I did. I hate to remind you, son, but you're only the junior partner in this concern. I happen to own three quarters of that crate, remember? Oh, just as if you'd ever let me forget it. And come on, Mike, time is of the essence. Yeah, yeah, I know, just like your old ballet teacher used to tell you. Let's go, then. We've got to load on some extra tanks of gas. I think a little trip in the jungle will do you good. We 
should hit Zambezi territory by morning. Okay, Boy Scout, how much longer do you intend to spend on your good deed? It will be a good deed if we collect the reward. If we collect it. Looking for that wreckage is going to be like looking for a needle in a haystack, to coin a phrase. Uh, go on and coin one, it will make you feel any better. Nothing's going to make me feel any better until we're out of this. Come on, Bob, let's call it quits. Keep going. Okay, Mike, you might as well head for home. I guess it was a wild goose chase. Well, I'm glad you finally got some sense. Maybe those passengers will still be waiting for us. No kidding, if we don't get some dough pretty soon, we're going to be out of business, but permanently. Well, we'll worry about that when we get home. Wonder how the gas is holding out. Okay. Mike! Hmm? Mike, I think I see something. Here, take a look. Yeah, could be. Well, let's go down and see. Okay. How far away did you say the wreckage is? Oh, about a mile. North by northeast, right? Right. But you keep your eyes peeled, Bob. Remember, we're not in the Rue de la Paix. I'll do better than that. Something, Mike? Yeah. 
Wait a minute, Bob. Come on, come on. Come on, Monte Greta, beautiful. Monte Greta, hair, very beautiful. Banama, did you study your spelling last night? Oh, yes, yes. Good. And let me hear you spell, uh, beautiful. Beautiful? Mm hmm Beautiful. Ah, yes. Beautiful. Uh, B. E, A, U, T, I, F, U, L. <laughs> That's wonderful. <laughs> I uh, think, 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 think. Yes. Beautiful, more beautiful. Word of all. Darujo mo el wasan. Palakanga, palazula, palarota. Branta. How do you like that? Mm-hmm. Doma. Miss Vanderhorn, I presume. You will not speak until you have been spoken to. Say, what is this? We know who you are. You may have these natives buffalo, Silence. but... Or perhaps you wish me to turn you over to my subjects. Did you hear that, Mike? Her subjects. Shut up, Bob. You've got us enough of the jam as it is. Nugata. What happened, Nugata? White devil. Kill Solo. Make fire from long stick. Big noise. Solo dead. You shot Zulo? Sure. How was I to know? He came bouncing out of the jungle with that spear and I... But I don't get this. We came here to find you. Maybe we made a mistake. Maybe you did. Certainly it was a mistake when you killed Zulo without justification. Neither he nor any of the others would have harmed you. They would have treated you like gods which they thought you were. But I still don't get it. What do you care what happened to that native? I care very much. But the whole idea... I would suggest that you be silent. The penalty for murder is the same here as anywhere else. Death. Uh, maybe you wouldn't mind telling me exactly what goes on around here. A trial will be conducted tonight to determine the innocence or guilt of you and your friend. Anda! 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 My people have reached a verdict. Since you had no part in the murder of Zulo, and in fact tried to prevent further violence, you will be permitted to return to your plane safely. That's nice. When? As soon as your friend's sentence has been carried out. What do you mean, my sentence? It is the will of my people that you be executed on the first full moon, which will be eight nights from tonight. Executed? But you can't... Easy, Bob. Your sentence has been pronounced. Just to be sure that you do not attempt to escape, you will both remain guarded until the execution. Bottom. Matabaro! Matabaro! No try, get away.
Well, I've been in better jails in my life. Well, that's where you've got it over me. It's the first one I was ever in. And from the looks of things, it's liable to be the last. Yeah, well, what are you worried about? Then I'm going to execute you. I'm the one that got the death sentence. How do you like that, Greta, giving us the business? The dame's gone native. Don't squawk to me, Bob. This is your own idea, remember, coming out here to look for her? We're doing all right ferrying private passengers until you decided that there are easier ways to make a living. Boy, do I wish I was in Portuguese Joe's bar right now, hoisting a couple of long, tall, cold ones. Yeah, well, maybe we will yet. Put that away. All right, all right. I'm not going to use it unless I have to. I also managed to hang on to our hand compass. Oh, good. You're not going to let me down, are you, Mike? Don't worry. We've got eight days to figure a way out of this. We're in this together, and we'll get out of it together. But I'm the one that shot that native, and I'm the one they're going to execute. Relax, will you? Like I said, we're in this together. You come. Montagreta wants to talk with you. No, you. Give my love to Monta Greta. Incidentally, I wonder what Monta means. Monta mean white goddess. White goddess. Leave us alone, Nagara. Me wait? Yes, outside. Come here. Sit down. Thank you. Did my father send you to find me? Well, not exactly, Miss Vanderhorn. What do you mean, not exactly? Your father's dead. When did he die? Not quite a month ago. never lived to find out what happened to me. Exactly what did happen? Well, I was a student in Miss Harcourt's school for girls at Hastings on the Hudson. It was Sunday morning, September the 1st, 1939. I was listening to the radio with my roommate. Helen Phillips. In general, the world picture remains the same, although the threat of war is... One moment, please, ladies and gentlemen. I've just been handed a teletype. Prime Minister Neville Chamberlain has just addressed Parliament, and I quote his exact words, quote, And I have the honor to inform you that unless the German government suspends all aggressive actions against Poland, not later than 11 a.m. British summer time, September 3rd, His Majesty's government will, without hesitation, fulfill its obligations to Poland, unquote. What are you doing that for, Greta? I don't want to hear any more. Do you realize that this means war? So what? This is the United States, remember? Who cares what's going on in Europe? Oh, I'm sorry, Greta. I forgot you're Dutch. Oh, that's all right. I'll have to see Miss Harcourt. What are you going to do? I'm going to take the first plane home if I can make reservations. But why? You're safe here. That's beside the point. I don't want to be stuck here for the duration. And if the war breaks, well, maybe I'll be a nurse. My first aid course might come in handy. Sometimes I don't get you, Greta. What do you care what's happening in Poland? Your home's in Johannesburg. Johannesburg is in a British dominion. And if war breaks, well, I, I want to be with my father. After considerable red tape, I was able to catch a plane for Lisbon, which was the most direct route to South Africa. It was not easy to make arrangements to continue my journey. The threat of war had brought a great deal of confusion. Plane reservations were scarce. However, I was finally successful and was able to board another plane for Johannesburg. At last, I was on my way to join my father. In order to reach Johannesburg, it was necessary to fly over the dense African jungles. I was soon engaged in a conversation with a very lovely woman. Of course, they'll be called up, John and Herbert both. It seems so strange. Their father was killed in the last war. 
You're taking it very calmly, Mrs. Fitzhugh. Oh, when you've lived as long as I have, child, you'll find it never pays to worry. I used to worry terribly about everything, little things and big things. My husband used to say, Bernice, what on earth's the matter with you? We'll all be dead soon enough. Ladies and gentlemen, we have just received word over the wireless that His Majesty's government has declared war on Germany. Now, there may be attempts to intercept this plane. However, we shall make every attempt to reach Johannesburg as per schedule. Well, it's come. May the Lord have mercy on us all. I think you'll all want to join. I figured on seeing Betty and the kid for Christmas. I wonder how long it'll be now. At least I can send him a picture of his dad in an RAF uniform. Jumping fast. I'd better go on the passengers to fasten their safety belt. By some miracle, I was the only survivor of the crash. When I came to, it was morning. I didn't know where I was or how I was going to get help. I gathered up my courage and started wandering through the jungle to try and get back to civilization. It wasn't long after I started through the jungle that I was confronted by a group of natives. I was really frightened then. I didn't know what to expect. When suddenly they started to kneel in an attitude of worship. I didn't know why, but I felt safer. So, mustering my courage. Take me to your village. Take me to your village. Nunda Sulara. You take me your village. Village. Uh, house. House. Ruma de Ama Monta. 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 
Inside the hut, I was at a loss to know what they wanted of me until I saw Wanama. She was a very sick girl, and only then did I realize that they wanted me to help her. When Wanama recovered, the natives were sure that I was a goddess. When Chief Mbenga died, Ulanga the witch doctor tried to poison the natives against me, but he wasn't successful. Well, do they still believe that you're a goddess? If they thought I was deceiving them, Ulanga the witch doctor would make short work of me. Aha, uh -huh. I'm beginning to get all this now. But why did you have Bob sentenced to death? You don't think I intended to carry that sentence out, do you? I was only stalling for time. Smart girl. I sort of figured that you were just putting on an act. I had to do it. If the natives thought otherwise, we'd all be dead. Well, it gives us just seven days to get out of here. Your plane, is it all right? Yeah, it's a little clearing about a mile from where your plane crashed. Trust me. Obey my every command, no matter how strange it might seem. Tell your friend to do the same thing. I'll find a way for the three of us to escape. Though, uh, I'm not so sure your friend deserves it. I don't like him. Oh, Bob's all right. A little trigger happy, perhaps, but he's all right. I don't like him. What is that? That's cute. Not so cute. Ulanga's working the natives up into a frenzy. What's the snake for? The snake is Ulanga's pet executioner. You mean he... It's a very torturous death. The poison works very slowly and horribly. I think you'd better go now. We don't want to arouse any suspicion. I'll see you again tomorrow. There's so much I want to talk to you about. Everything that's happened in the last six years. It must have taken a great deal of courage to stick this out for six years. Good night, White Goddess. Good night. And don't worry. Nagata! Nagata, take this man back. But remember, no harm must come to either of them. We must fulfill the law. Yes, Montegrata. Witch doctor's having a little party. Some party. It's a dance of death. How come Monta Greta always wants to talk to you and not to me? Maybe she likes the color of my eyes better. She sure must like something. What do you mean by that crack? How do I know you two aren't cooking up something together? Meaning what? 
meaning there's 5,000 pounds reward for little Monte Greta. If you two get out of here alone, you won't have to split the reward with me. You would think of something like that, I'd crush your skull. I'm sorry, Mike, I'm sorry. This place has given me the heebie-jeebies. Remember, they're going to kill me if I don't get out of here. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I know how you feel. But like I said, we'll get out of this together. Monta Greta say you come eat with her now. Oh, thank you. Well, that's my day. I'll see you later. This for you. Yeah. Hello. Hello, Mike. Tell me, where are all your subjects headed for? They're going out after wild antelope. They leave early so that they can be back before dark. They don't like the jungle at night. Oh, won't you sit down? Well, thank you, white goddess. It's been a long time since anyone called me Greta. All right, Greta. Well, how does it look? Oh. Well, tell me what it is first. Oh, it isn't what you might think. I assure you that the natives here are not cannibals. Well, that's a relief. <laughs> Did you cook it yourself? Goddesses don't cook. What I wouldn't give for a hamburger and some nice French fried potatoes. Oh, that's right. You went to school in the States, didn't you? Mm-hmm. You're an American, aren't you? Mm-hmm. I'm from Colorado. And speaking of hamburgers, I could go for one myself. You see, I haven't been home in three years. Greta, do you mind if we start right in? I'm so hungry I could eat a horse. You are. Huh? Oh, don't worry. Here they call it zebra. It's not only edible, but uh, quite delicious. All right, if you say so. Very tasty. <sighs> mm. Oh, white devil on fire! Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> not yet. Not quite yet. Say, you speak pretty good English. Oh, sure. Monte Greta teach me everything. Me very smart. Did Monte Greta tell you that too? Oh, sure. <laughs> she no tell me what, uh, what smart mean. <laughs> you tell Wanama. Well, it uh, means sort of like... Uh, Dumb. Dumb. <laughs> Very beautiful. Dumb. <laughs> you eat now. Why everybody say, you white devil? You very, very nice. It's hard to believe that the war lasted so long. If it hadn't been for the atomic bomb, it'd probably still be going on. Tell me, Greta, didn't you ever try to get out of here? I used to dream my way out at night. In fact, for the first year or so, I used to dream about home every night. And after that? Oh, I gave up dreaming. It was hopeless to try and penetrate the jungle. I used to have the natives take me out on what you might call hunting expeditions, but they led nowhere. Lady, you were on quite a spot, weren't you? I know. And my only hold on them depends on their belief that I'm a goddess. That's why everything must go according to our plans. If we're to get out of here alive, you must tell Bob not to make any false moves. He's got to be patient until tomorrow morning. Are you sure you can trust Wanama? Wanama would do anything for me. And she's the only one I can trust to lead us out of the jungle. Bob has the hand compass. That will come in handy, too, in case anything goes wrong. I uh, think you'd better leave now. You always say something like that just when I'm beginning to enjoy myself. It's best. Well, that's life. Hey, what is this? Where'd you get this? Well, Nama made it for me. Oh, it's cute. Hey, where did Wanama get the stuff she carved this from? On the outskirts of the village. Why? Why? You know what this is? No, I guess you don't. I saw something just like this in Colorado. Well, what is it? Unless I'm crazy, it's carnitite. Of course, that wouldn't mean anything to you either. Carnitite is stuff that they use in the manufacture of atomic energy. Greater, this stuff is priceless. 
Are you serious? Of course I'm serious. Look, Bob knows a lot about this kind of thing. Do you mind if I show it to him? Well, not if you want to. If it is kind of tight, we'll organize our own expedition and come back for it. <sighs> Provided we get out of here alive, Mike. Oh, yeah. Forget all about that. It's carnitine, all right. You sure? I'd stake my life on it. Mike, do you know what this means? I don't know what it means to you, but personally, I've had my eye on a ranch in Colorado ever since I was a kid. Right. Nagara's still on guard. Our best chance is to make a break for it just before dawn. Well, wait a minute. Greta's worked out a plan for it. Who said anything about Greta? She'd just be in the way. It's tough enough getting through that jungle without being slowed down by a dame. Well, if we get through, and I doubt very much if we can, will Langer be a cinch to blame her? Have you ever stopped to think what those natives might do to her? So what? That's her lookout. She's the white goddess. She can figure her way out of this. Suppose they kill her. We don't have to bring her back alive to collect the reward. And besides, that's peanuts alongside what we'll collect on this. I'm taking this back to Greta. Bob, I'm going to be kind to you. I'm just going to figure that this spot you're on has twisted your mind. Nobody can be that much of a heel. I appreciate the fact that I can't leave this hole, but is there any other water? If it isn't too much trouble. Wanama. Bring what? Ota. Yeah, bring up. Don't forget the ice. Ice? Skip it. Wanama, bring it inside. It's hotter than blazes out here. I've arranged to send all the natives out on a hunting expedition early tomorrow morning. That will enable us to travel by daylight. What about Nagara? You'll have to tie him up. But I don't want him hurt, understand? You mean you don't trust him? Oh, I don't dare. After all, he is a Zambezi. These natives are very peculiar and childlike. There's no telling how he might react, if he knew what we were up to. Well, then what makes you think you can trust one out? Oh, I know I can. After all, she's been my constant companion for six years. You know the jungle pretty well, don't you? Oh, sure. Me very dumb. <laughs> I guess you are at that. Did you ever wonder where Monte Greta came from? The gods sent Monte Greta. Is that what she told you? Oh, no. But me, no. Everybody, no. You love Monte Greta very much, don't you? Oh, sure. Everybody loves Monte Greta. Then you'd want to help her if she needed you, wouldn't you? Help Monte Greta? Something bad happened to Monte Greta? It will if we don't help her. Okay, what about the rifles? I, uh, I had to have them destroyed. The natives thought they were weapons of evil. That's too bad. They certainly would have come in handy. Yes. The jungle's infested with wild animals. Well, if we should get in the spot, you can always exert your powers, white goddess. <sighs> Mike, do you think you can get Bob's revolver away from him? I don't trust him. No, he'd never give it up. <sighs> then we'll just have to take our chances. Now, don't worry, Greta. I can handle Bob if I have to. You know, it would serve him right if we'd turn him over to the tender mercies of Ulanga the witch doctor. Here, here, we couldn't do that. <laughs> of course we couldn't. You know, Mike, I think you're absolutely right. He's undoubtedly become unbalanced by all that's happened. But uh, we'll have to watch him very closely. Relax, goddess. Relax. <laughs> What's the matter, Winona? Me want to talk Monte Greta alone. That's all right. You may speak. He's our friend. He friend white devil too. Please, Monte Greta. Wanama want to speak with you alone. Perhaps I'd better go. No. I have a feeling this concerns the both of us. What happened, Wanama? Were you with white devil? Are you afraid to tell me what happened? No. Please. Me want to talk Monte Greta alone. Monte Greta wants you to speak now. Wanama, obey. White devil want me take him through jungle. Alone? He say that way we help Monte Greta. But Wanama, no believe. You didn't tell him you were coming here, did you? Oh, no. Wanama, Wanama, dumb. That's all. Where are you going? Get that gun away from Bob. Be careful, Mike.
Monte Greta. Monte Greta love him. <laughs> I'll take that, Bob. Are you daffy? I don't think so. We're pulling out tomorrow morning. And Greta and I both decided that it would be better if I packed the artillery on this little safari. But you and Greta decided, did you? Well, you go on back to Greta and do some more deciding. This is my piece of iron and I'm going to keep it. Give me that gun. Barosimana! Oh! You fool! I didn't mean to shoot him. It was an accident. Stop Ulanga. He's going after the hunters. We'll have to start now without Wanama before Ulanga reaches the tribe. But you're not going to go without me. We should leave you here, but come on. Go to my place and wait. I'll be with you in a moment. Okay, Greta. Come on. Bonte Greta. No, God, I'm dead. No, it's just a flesh wound. You'll be all right. You take care of him, just as I've taught you. Montegretta must leave now. They will take me back where I came from. Montegretta no come back to Wanama? I don't know. You be a good girl, Wanama, and remember everything I've taught you, just as I'll remember everything you've taught me. Montegretta. What was that? The witch doctor's gathering the tribe. We'd better hurry. How about you taking the lead, Mike? You've got the gun. Just keep marching, fella. I want you up ahead where I can keep an eye on you. But you don't have to worry about me. What's the matter with you? I know our only chance is in sticking together. Swell. Just get going, will you?
Ho capito la mano! Pronto! What's the matter now? Listen! Yeah, those drums are getting closer. Let's get going. And be careful of that compass. I will. twisted my ankle. Well, can you walk? Well, I think so. Well, then, come on, come on. We've got to keep moving. You stay right where you are. Put your hand on my shoulder. I'll be all right. That's all we need. It isn't tough enough going as it is. We have to be slowed down for her. Got any ideas? You better rest there for a few minutes more, Greta. A few minutes more? May I remind you, son, it'll be dark pretty soon, and we're a long ways from the plane. We're going just as fast as we can, and that's just as fast we're gonna go. He's right, Mike. We've got to get going. Are you sure you're all right? I'll have to be all right. Well, then, come on. Let's go. Come on. Okay, Galahad. Get moving. some water. Sure. White goddess having trouble? Now listen, Bob, you're going to make one wise crack too many, then you're not going to feel like making any more wise cracks. Yeah, and if we keep stopping for her, we won't make any cracks wise or otherwise. You better go on without me, Mike. Are you serious? Yes. There's still a chance for you two. If you and the natives catch up with me, maybe I'll still have enough power to save myself. Why not do as she says, Mike? They won't harm her. She's the white goddess. She can bluff her way out of it. It's our only chance. Forget it. But how are you... I said forget it. They haven't caught us so far. We'll just keep our fingers crossed. a girl. It'll be dark pretty soon. If we're going to get out of here alive, we'll have to use our heads. So if you've got any ideas, now's the time to spill them. Up to now, my ideas haven't carried much weight. So I'll leave it to you two masterminds. Mm-hmm. What do you think we ought to do? Well, there's only one thing we can do. We'll never make it through the jungle at night. We'll have to build a fire to keep the animals away and stay close to it until dawn. Are you crazy? That's all we need, a fire to show Ulanga where we are. Ulanga and the natives will be doing the same thing we're doing, building a fire and staying close to it for safety. How do you know they will? I know their superstitions and their fears. <laughs> Why don't you try and get some sleep, Greta? I'm not tired. Are you kidding? You're so tired, you're about ready to come apart. Well, maybe I am. But I could sit up all night talking about home. Tell me some more, Mike. Well, I've told you about everything since Pearl Harbor. What else would you like to know? Oh, anything. What kind of hats are the women wearing? Hats? Uh-huh. Well, how would you ask me anything like that? How would I know anything about women's hats? I never look at their hats. Anyway, are they cute? Greta, they're hats. You know, women's hats. I can't tell you any more than that. <laughs> you know something? What? They look all right on you. 
Hey, you guys. Why don't you get some sleep? What are you talking about? Hats. Hats. <sighs> Golly, it'll be good to get back to a good hot tub. Hmm. Why don't you be a good girl now and try and get some sleep? What about you? you keep an eye on our boyfriend over there. And I'll keep you company. getting us anywhere. The gun and the compass? They're gone, too. We'll never find the plane without that compass. We'll have to follow him. He went through those bushes. Well, come on, let's go. the ankle. Oh, all right. Good girl. Let's go. 
I think we'd better take a breather. No, we've got to keep going. If he gets too far ahead, we'll never find him. Look, Greta. At least his crews are on the right track. Come on. There's the plane. devil, he must have gone completely out of his mind.
you get a look at that country, Greta? Colorado's the most beautiful state in the whole union. And that ranch I've got picked out. Alfalfa, wheat, plenty of cows. Hey, you aren't listening to a word I'm saying. Uh-huh. What are you thinking about? Oh, just wondering how I'm gonna look in one of those hats. <laughs> 